the winner of the crab trap bait challenge is I, 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 I fooled you you're just gonna have to watch and wait till the end of the episode to find out South Florida saltwater fishing. I'm Heath. It's another beautiful Sunday. And that means we're going out fishing. You, you're coming with us. Everybody say good morning to South Florida fishing girl Bella. Exactly. <laughs> and this is her friend Gina. Hi. She is a repeat return South Florida fishing girl. We're gonna try and get Gina on some more fish today. She went out with us about a month or so ago, hooked up with some dolphin. We'll see what happens today on this sunday showdown agenda another day we got to catch crab trap bait so we're going to troll around and uh see what we can get and then we're going to try and uh probably put some dinner in the boat that would be very nice and then at the end of the day we're going to go and we are going to pull our crab traps and complete this crab trap bait challenge before we get into this though do us a favor hit that subscribe button Give this video a like, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. So as with everything, a boat being a boat, somewhere I've got an electronic short and I have no electronics, no GPS or no fish finder. Gonna make for a fun day uh, trying to make this happen, but that's why it's called a boat. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. Let's do this. Look at a beautiful sunrise, girls. Oh, oh, looks cool, huh? All right, here we go. Nice flat day, huh? These are the days we love. Fish on. Gina, here we go. Pick it up real. You can, no, pick, pick it up, pick it up real. Let's do this, we got one. All right, put this hand up here. Turn the handle. There you go. Okay. Yep. Dad, why didn't you Whoa, let him go. If he's going to run, let him go. All right. Now remember, pull back and reel on the way down. Oh, there you go. This one's easier. Yep. It's not as big of a fish as the dolphin. Yeah, the dolphin is complicated. Yep. It's All right, pull back. Reel on the way down. Gosh. Nope, oh. the other way. You're only going to turn it forward. There you go. Oh, God. There you go. There we go. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier. A lot easier? Yeah. Yes, those are called man of war. I think it's an easy fish. Is he still on? Okay. I guess we'll find out. Is he on, Gina? come off up oh, he came off I got fish all around the boat we should be getting hit sometime here shortly if they're hungry enough to eat a lure they look like tuna or bonita jumping all around all in front of the boat this bro jig got tagged Nope, I see him. Yep, it's that time of year. The man of wars are all around. shakes he's starting to get mad as he gets to the boat here he comes I see him at 
looks like it's blackfin. Then again, it looks like, oh no, it's a skipjack. Close enough. A tuna is a tuna. There we go. On the spro jig. Not a whole lot going on fishing wise today. So what we're gonna do is we are going to wrap up our crab trap bait challenge. Some traps had cat food, some traps had fish. Other traps had both. We're gonna see who does the best. And as usual, it's fishing, so we may get nothing. Or we may completely load up in all of them. We're about ready to see. All right. So today, we're gonna do what I call the crab trap bait challenge. We got canned cat food versus natural fish. This is a bonita. Challenge is, What's gonna work better? I have heard cat food, I've used cat food. It works great. I've used fish. It works great also. We're gonna see who's the winner. You decide. Let me know in the comments what you think before we get to it. All right, can of cat food going in this one. In this trap, I repurposed the catfish that were in there. And then if we don't get more, I'm gonna throw in bonita and uh, more cat food on the other traps. This is trap number two. Trap number three, I'm gonna put some fish and some cat food in it. Traps number four and five are in the same spot almost. So I'm gonna do one with fish, one with cat food. This is trap number four. We're doing them all with fish. So I got a little bit of bonita. And, and I got a kingfish head going in there. See what happens. And trap number five is gonna be a can of cat food. So what I'm doing with the cans of cat food is I'll punch a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom so that the current can flow through and release the food slowly over time. Pulling up on oh. trap number one and trap number one had a can of cat food in it. So we're gonna see what it's got. We would eat a crab because we... Oh. oh! What crab is that? Okay, that's a stone crab. Wait, could I show you? We them? can eat it. Nope. Can of cat food. This is a crab. That has one claw off. So good. Trap number two, which had repurposed catfish in it. We're gonna see how good that one does. crab all day long so far it's a tie four and five one of them had fish and one of them had just cat food so I don't know which had which but we're gonna find out short, 
another short with just one claw missing a couple of legs we also have a toady in it are those toadies are cool they're little puffer fish it's you so can cute. actually eat these guys i would we, keep them if i got more but we we're gonna let him it's go so it's so cute me and then we got a nice jumbo oh, size yes he's crab. perfect you could like get both claws yeah he's, this he's good is a good claw this one definitely and this one so this trap had just fish in it and it's produced three crabs. Get trap number five, which had just the can of cat food. So far, trap number four, which had just fish in it, is the winner. But I know that this spot has been producing more than the other spots, so we got to take that into consideration too. But so far, fish is the winner of the dinner. <coughs> Trap number five also has three crabs in it, but they're all short. One. Two. And three. But like I said, they're all short, so it can't be much about that. And that concludes the crab trap bait challenge. As you can see, they both produce just about evenly. We had one keeper stone crab. It was a different time of year, different weather conditions, maybe cold fronts weren't pushing through. The results might have been different. Fishing is fishing, and you never know what you're going to get. Um, the difference is, is cat food is a readily available source. Fish, you have to go out and get it yourself and keep it and keep producing it. So using the cat food is more like keeping your options open for the next step just in case you don't get the bait that about does it for this episode till next time south florida saltwater fishing going wherever the cool wind takes us hi gina hi gina, hi, gina. what are you doing are, gina are you driving turn. Turn. turn the boat don't hit nothing uh, are you gonna sink the boat don't hit anybody else's boat i'm not <laughs> <laughs> Too bad.